Otome News presents The Human Body. Body's bad fat could be altered to fight obesity. Want to not be fat and not do anything but pop a pill to be skinny like a true American? The majority of fat in the body is unhealthy white tissue found around the waist, hips, and thighs. Smaller amounts of brown fat located around the neck and shoulders are packed with mitochondria that generate heat when burning up excess calories. Scientists have found a way to turn white fat in lab mice into beige fat, a healthier fat with some weight loss capabilities by blocking the PEXRAP protein. The next step is to find a safe way to block the PEXRAP protein in humans. Researchers hope to develop more effective treatments for obesity and diabetes, both of which continue to ravage the United States. Can the human body survive traveling to Mars? In a recent opinion article, U.S. President Barack Obama stressed his goal of not only sending humans to Mars, but making it possible for people to stay there for extended periods of time by 2030. But the journey alone won't be an easy one. Scientists say one of the dangers of traveling to Mars is exposure to radiation. Without the protection of Earth's atmosphere, humans are vulnerable to the sun's gamma rays and hot neutrons, which can cause cancer. A shield made of lead or water, especially in the form of ice, could be used to absorb the radiation and protect the human body. Spending less time in space could also reduce the effects of radiation. During space travel, humans are also prone to osteoporosis. Astronauts in space have been recorded losing 1 to 2 percent of bone mass per month. That could mean 10 to 25 percent of skeletal mass being lost during a year-long round trip to Mars. While exercise aboard spacecrafts may help humans retain muscle and bone mass, Astronauts have still been recorded losing a significant amount during travel. Other effects of space travel on the human body include changes in the circulatory system and the immune system. Meanwhile, even after humans do make it to Mars, they will still need to battle significantly lower temperatures and a thin and low-pressure atmosphere. New study says it's possible to sweat blood. Are you one of those people that's always sweating? Have you ever sweat blood, though? A 21-year-old Italian woman was found to have been bleeding intermittently from her face and palms for three years. She was eventually diagnosed with blood sweating or hematohydrosis. This condition causes blood to seep out of unbroken skin like normal perspiration. It's most common on the face, ears, nose and eyes and is often associated with fear and emotional stress. The woman was treated with a beta blocker normally used to regulate blood pressure and heart rate. The medicine did not stop the bleeding, but she did experience a marked reduction in symptoms. Medical experts still don't know what causes the condition. Poor sleep linked to being moody. Researchers have connected irregular sleep patterns with mood disorders and depression. Disrupting the body's circadian rhythm by going to bed late and using smartphones late at night may be impacting people's mental health. Researchers combed through historical data from 91,000 people aged 37 to 73. Specifically, they focused on a period from 2006 to 2010 where individuals' activities were tracked via special wrist sensor. Research published in The Lancet suggests people more active at night than in the day are up to 10 percent more likely to be found to have a mood disorder. The BBC reports the study found higher rates of depression, unhappiness, bipolar disorder, loneliness, mood instability and poor reaction times in individuals with disrupted body clocks. A researcher recommended not using mobile phones or getting drinks late at night and avoiding other activities at night. What remains unknown is if poor sleep is the root of mood disorders or a symptom of it. Previous research has demonstrated that late-night phone use can lead to earlier death. U.S. scientists believe that one of the main reasons we sleep is to remove waste our brain generates during daily activities. Brain waste, including beta amyloids and taus, generates an interstitial fluid during daily cogitation. While some of the waste dissolves in interstitial fluid, the majority must be transported out via cerebral spinal fluid. The astrocyte, a type of glial cell, has tiny pores that suck cerebrospinal fluid from blood vessels into the interstitial space. During sleep, cerebral spinal fluid enters the brain rapidly to mix with interstitial fluid, washing brain waste from arteries and veins. The waste ends up in the liver. The process of brain cleansing is more active during sleep when the glial cells shrink and the size of the interstitial space increases.
An experiment carried out on mice by scientists at the University of Rochester Medical Center found that their glial cells carried 60% more cerebral spinal fluid when the mice were asleep. Researchers discover new human organ. Think we all know about the human body? Think again. Researchers discovered a new organ by accident while looking at a bile duct and noticed tears in dense tissue. They were using a laser imaging technique to measure internal tissue depth via reflected light. Called the interstitium, the organ was never previously noticed, as tissue study involves slicing and chemical treatment. This results in fluid loss. Researchers say the interstitium is a body-wide structure of lymph fluid, collagen, and proteins. The organ is also believed to comprise 20% of all bodily fluids. The study also found that the interstitium had helped cancer cells move from infected areas to other areas of the body via the lymphatic system. Speaking to the new scientist, one researcher said this was a water slide for cancer. How to edit genetics without changing DNA. Scientific brilliance coming out of the MIT Harvard Broad Institute may one day better the lives of millions. DNA directs protein on how to build cells via RNA. A new study, published in the journal Science, details how DNA instructions can be chemically altered via edits to information in the RNA. The DNA remains unchanged, while proteins build cells based on the edited instructions. The method is not ready for human trials, but could one day help those suffering from degenerative diseases. People as old as 79 can still make new brain cells. Guess you can't teach an old man or woman some new tricks. A new study claims the brain continues to produce hundreds of new neurons daily, even in older people, in a process called neurogenesis. Scientists from the University of Columbia examined the brains of 28 dead people, who were 14 to 79 at the age of death, to see if aging affects neuron production. The team looked for the presence of neurons in different stages of development, including stem cells, intermediate progenitor cells, immature neurons, and new neurons. Researchers found similar numbers of neuroprogenitor cells and immature neurons, regardless of age. This led them to conclude the human brain can produce neurons even in old age. But just last month, another study published by the University of California found that new neuron production in adults was undetectable. So, guess the jury's still out. Researchers have discovered that when certain electrical currents are applied to the brain, its mathematical abilities are increased. Scientists presented math equations to a control group that received no stimulation and an experimental group that received randomly fluctuating electrical currents to their heads. The currents caused less blood flow to the brain, but no change in oxygen consumption, meaning the stimulated brains were actually working more efficiently. The stimulated group ended up doing faster math calculations than the control group. So far, researchers have found no adverse effects from applying such electrical stimulation to the brain. A high-fat liver may be sapping the brain of an essential protein, leading to dementia. Former studies have found a link between high abdominal fat and the development of dementia in old age. Unmetabolized fat accumulates in the liver over time. The PPAR-alpha protein activates a machinery that processes fat in the liver. A high-fat liver quickly depletes its store of PPAR-alpha and draws from other sources in the body, including the hippocampus, where PPAR-alpha plays a big role in learning processes. Researchers believe individuals suffer from memory-related problems when they lose the protein in the hippocampus. More research is being done to understand how fat accumulation affects learning and memory.